Let's go. Entrepreneurship in modern culture has become the new trend in today's society. Many people have started companies to simply just chase cloud and look great on social media. But the truth behind closed doors is that they're not willing and ready to put in the work and make the sacrifices it takes to build a successful company up as a CEO. My question to you is, are you adding value or are you just chasing cloud and attention? Let's talk about it. It's the Kyra Montero Show, Season 3, Episode 8, The Visionary Series. Are you really made for this? Let's go! It's set to me. It's set to me. Cairo. Engage. Let's go! They gon' grind like this. They ain't gon' push like this. Yeah. They ain't gon' fight like this. They ain't gon' move like this. They ain't gon' build like this. They ain't gon' think like this. They ain't gon' fight like this. They ain't gon' push like this. Pow, pow. They ain't gon' shine like this. They ain't gon' drip like this. They yeah. ain't gon' push like this. They ain't gon' move like this. They ain't gon' fight 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 like this. Let's go. No lie, I see no competition. From their eyes, I see they fit the vision. No weapon, crush the opposition. Diamonds dancing, moving like they rhythm. Young king, I swear I'm on a mission. Build a team and put them in position. Work the dream and bring it to existence. Manifest the dream into existence. What's going on again, everybody? My name is Kyra Montero. I want to welcome y'all to the Kyra Montero Show. Season 3, Episode 8. Season 3 is called The Visionary Series. That's the focus. Episode 8. Are you really made for this? Round of applause for y'all, man. Yes, sir. I'm going to be honest, man. A lot of people... I see, <laughs> like, first off, there's a lot of people that reach out to me. My name is Kyra Montero. Uh, I am, an entre- you know, I'm an entrepreneur. I got some businesses that I'm building up from the ground up. Uh, I own Frequency Canvas LLC, which is a, a full-service audio production. I own a small boutique record label called Engage Records LLC, um, which actually is the oldest business. Uh, and then I have one in development called Reliable Stand LLC um, that's been in development and... You know, about to get picked back up uh, going into 2024 and beyond. Anyway, so, you know, I'm not no Warren Buffett, but I know just a little something about business. And I've talked to a lot of successful business people and people reach out and I've instilled a lot of um, business guidance and direction into a lot of startup entrepreneurs, especially in the field of creative entrepreneurship. Um so, you know, I got a little bit of, little, little, just a little bit of credibility to be able to stand on the things that I'm about to talk about. So, this is what I want to talk about. Are you really made for this? There's a lot of people that either want to start up businesses or that have started up businesses just for attention on social media, just cloud chasing. I'm just going to be honest at the end of the day, and I want to keep it real on the, on this, on these episodes and on the content that we're pushing out. And... I'm here to tell you, if you are just in entrepreneurship, if you want to become a business owner just for the attention, just to look good, man, go ahead and hop on out of it. Or if you're thinking about it, don't do it. Because I promise you, it is way harder than you think. It's cute to start up an LLC or get incorporated. Um, which the LLC is still basically getting incorporated. It's, it's, it looks good to get start a business, get incorporated, you know, Post the official state uh, corporation documents on Facebook and on different places. You know, get your two to five hundred likes, get your hundred th- to three hundred comments, and everybody, you know, round of applause, happy for you. And then what? Right? Anybody can do that. Let's just be real. Anybody can go to their state and get incorporated for about a hundred dollars, maybe a little more. Let's be honest. Anybody can do that. That does not mean you're operating a real business. All right? So, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Few points of conversation, I'm going to be out of here, man. This ain't no hate. This ain't no slight. We just keeping it real, man. And if the shoe fit, wear that mug. All right? Point number one. Actually, these are some questions, but we're just going to call them points. Point number one. Check your motives. Why are you wanting to start a business? Why are you currently in business, right? That's point. That's that's question point number one. 
the point of starting a business is to add value to people. That that's the whole point. There's a problem. You're survive, You're providing a solution. You're providing an answer. You're providing value, and because you're providing uh, whatever service or product or whatever you know, however that value is that you're that you're giving to your customers and to your clients, they appreciate that so much to where they they're giving you a monetary exchange, right? AKA a sale. So that is business. But the the point of getting into business is to add value to people, right? And so many times people are chasing money, people are chasing clout and attention, but you should be chasing the vision. The vision is is what's going to what's going to get you there. And what happens is is when the lights and the cameras are off, then what? Then it's really time to go to work, right? So, so that's the first point. Challenge yourself. Why are you even getting into business? Why are you even in business? If it's not to add value to people, then you're already in it for the wrong reason. You got to check your motives, right? Point number two, are you willing to sacrifice on every level of your life to accomplish your vision? Let me say that again. Point number two, are you willing to sacrifice on every level of your life to accomplish your vision i can guarantee you for most people the answer is no most people want to put in minimal work want to put in minimal investment financially want to put in minimal time and work to get the biggest results newsflash if you're not willing to go all in you're not going to get the results that you want very few people get great success from little risk from being lazy that rarely happens. And if it does happen, it's not going to be around that long. I guarantee you, you're not going to have much longevity. You got to be willing to sacrifice on every level of your life financially. Um, spiritually, you're going to sacrifice. Emotionally, physically, you're going to sacrifice. Socially, friendships is going to take a hit. All right? You, you, you're going to spend less time with your husband, wife, with or your significant other. It's going to affect your parenting. You might have to miss some games. You might miss some birthdays. You might miss family gatherings. Like, if you want to be an entrepreneur and you really want to do this, it comes with a high level of sacrifice. Once again, you got to ask yourself, are you really ready for that? All right? Point number three, are you humble enough to remain teachable as an entrepreneur? Sheesh. That's a challenge to me, by the, by the way. Are you humble enough to rem, are you humble enough to remain teachable as an entrepreneur? All right. There are so many people that have been doing this for a day, been doing it for a few years, and they think they know everything. And in reality, don't know nothing. You're figuring it out on a day to day. The, the person that thinks that they are the smartest person in the room, the person that thinks that they know Everything actually in return is really the dumbest person in the room. The person that thinks that they're so wise and so smart and can't be taught and is not teachable is really unwise. You're really an idiot. Harsh, right? But it is what it is. Remain teachable. You need to be able to, to be teachable. Get yourself around people that know more than you. Get yourself around people that are smarter than you. I'm constantly, man, I got so many people that can validate this. Ever since I've been an entrepreneur, since a teenager, man, I'm always asking questions. I'll go to a conference. I'll meet up for lunch. I'll drive if I got to. I'll fly if I got to. I'll, I'll hop on Zoom. I'm on this phone constantly learning and building relationships up. Man, you got to remain teachable, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm always constantly trying to learn from people who are smarter than me, wiser than me, more experienced than me, more successful than me, better than me, because I want to be the greatest that I can be. But in order to do that, you got to remain humble enough to be teachable. Yeah, you got to be confident for sure. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you got to be confident. If you're not going, if you're not going to be confident in yourself. And you, then you definitely not going to be successful as an entrepreneur, but you still got to have enough humility and enough common sense to say, I need to remain teachable, period. Point number four, when the lights and the cameras are off, do you have that dog in you 
to really put in the necessary work. Mm. Let me ask that one more time. When the lights and the cameras are off, do you really have that dog in you to put in the necessary work? Remember, we talked. I talked just a few points ago. I talked about the sacrifice. It's a lot of people doing this for clout. Then when the lights and the camera go off, where's the work at? I see so many people on Facebook and social media starting up businesses, getting all of the attention. It's exciting. And then where's the work at? Nothing. Crickets. What happened? Huh? That's all I got on that one. <laughs> Point number five. Are you willing to be the greatest? Are you willing to be the greatest that you can be? Are you trying to be the best at what you can do? Let me say that again. Point number five. Are you willing to be the greatest that you can be? Are you trying to be the best at what you do? If, if whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that your business is about, if you don't want to be the best at it, don't do it. Why do it? I don't want to pay a business money if they're not trying to be the top of the, of the food chain at what they do. If I'm going to a mechanic for my car, I want to go to the person that's trying to be the best mechanic. Period. If I'm going to a photographer, I want to hire the best photographer at what they do. If I'm going to an insurance provider for insurance, I want the best insurance provider. I want people that care about what they're doing that's trying to provide the best uh, service at the highest level of excellence and quality, period. If you don't want to be the greatest, why are you doing it? Your customers deserve the greatest. They want the best. You got to be the best. Period. <laughs> Point number six. Do you have the right attitude that it takes to successfully build a business? Is your character respectful enough? Ooh. Let me ask that again. Do you have the right attitude that it takes to be successful? To uh, I'm sorry, y'all. Do you have the right attitude that it takes to successfully build a business? Is your character respectful enough? I'm going to tell y'all this. There was a time, and there can be times, where all of our attitudes can be off. All of our characters can be off. When you're building a business up, especially for like, for like from the ground up, when you're starting at zero, even though it is a living, uh, breathing thing separate from you as a business owner, like it's its own entity, it's its own thing. The, the truth of the matter is however people perceive you affects your business. However you deal with people as a person is going to creep in to how you deal with people as a CEO and as a business owner. It, it comes to my many entrepreneurs. I know people who are some of the best at what it is that they do, but their attitude is terrible. The way that they talk to people is terrible. The way that they handle business situations uh when turmoil and when the heat is on or, or maybe when there's some conflict in the business operation or deal, the way that they handle it is terrible and it affects the success of their business. Although that they may be great or maybe one of the best at what they do, their business isn't as far as it become as it could be because they're really not the greatest people, Right. I can attest to this. There's been times where I haven't been the greatest person and my businesses have been affected. Actions that I've done have impacted businesses at the end of the day. Look at it on a, on a high. Let's look at it at the highest level. Kanye West. I'm not here to critique or anything, but anytime Kanye West has been in turmoil publicly, it's affected his business. Now, it may go back up. You know what I'm saying? He may recover. He's great. He's brilliant. But, there's been some personal decisions that he's made. There's been a way that he's, there's been things that he's done, how he's taught to people, how he's treated people that's affected his businesses at, at times. So if it can happen to some of the richest people, if it can happen to some of the most famous people, some of the most impactful people, what do you think happens as a, as a small entrepreneur, right? Is your character respectful enough? 
is your character respectful enough? If you don't have respectable character, you're not going to have a respectable business. Think I'm lying if you want to. Take a look around, all right? Point number seven, are you willing to be held accountable for your actions as an entrepreneur and CEO? I'm going to ask that one more time. Are you willing to be held accountable for your actions as an entrepreneur and CEO? Piggybacking off of point six, that character. There's so many people that under the umbrella in the name of business want to be piss poor people, want to be terrible people. Want to be bad, shysty, shady people. And they do it under the umbrella of business. Well, this is business. No, the way you are as a person is a part of how business goes. You got to be willing to be held accountable. If you're not willing, willing to be held accountable, how are you going to be successful in business? I don't, I don't see how that's going to turn out well. Be accountable. Be responsible for your actions. Be held accountable to your actions as an entrepreneur and as a CEO. Um, you know, and that's not that's not only going to affect customers, but internally in your business. If you got a team and you got employees, you got to be held accountable. If you can't be held accountable, people aren't going to want to work with you or work for you. Period. That's on the staff and administrative and team side. And on the clientele and customer side, your business is going to tank. Last point, are you willing to network and build the necessary relationships it takes to become successful? Let me ask that again. Are you willing to network and build the necessary relationships that it takes to become successful? Anybody I know that's successful have put astronomical amounts of effort into networking, into building relationships, into relationship retentions, keeping a relationship, nurturing and stewarding and that. You cannot do everything by yourself. You need to network. You need to do that, man. I know this might be uh, seem like a rant is not a rant, but it's real. I, I'm, I take the business serious, man, you know. Everything, financially, socially, spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, I put everything into this stuff. And I, and, I, and other people that I know who serious about it, they put in everything into this stuff. And when you see people playing around with this stuff, or you see people chasing clout, or you see people just not doing it the right way that it should be, it gets frustrating. And the point of this visionary series is to help entrepreneurs is to help other leaders and visionaries. And it, and it's good. Look, most of these have been encouraging, but sometimes we need to be challenged. So this is the Kyra Montero Show, Season 3, Episode 8. Are you really made for this, man? Round of applause for y'all, man. Make sure that you check out the Kyra Montero Show on places like Apple Podcasts, Google Podcast, which is merging into YouTube. I think they got podcasts um, for YouTube, a podcast on YouTube. But YouTube is building uh, its own platform for podcasts. Also, places like Amazon Music, Spotify, etc. All of the major platforms with podcasts is just that. Make sure that you uh, share the podcast. It's presented by Frequency Canvas. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. Let's take it out on some good music. It's excellent. It's excellent, man. It's excellent. Salute to all the entrepreneurs out there, man. Engage. Let go, let go. Christ, they ain't gonna grind like this. They ain't gonna push like this. Yeah. They ain't gonna fight like this. They ain't gonna move like this. They ain't gonna pull like this. They ain't gonna think like this. They ain't gonna fight like this. They ain't gonna push like this. They ain't gonna shine like this. They ain't gonna drip like this. They ain't gonna push like this. They ain't gonna move like this. They ain't gonna fight like this. 
They ain't gon' fight like this. They ain't gon' fight like this. They ain't gon' fight like this. Yes, sir. No lies, see no competition. From their eyes, I see they fear the vision. No weapon, crush the opposition. Diamonds dancing, moving like they rhythm. Young King, I swear I'm on a mission. Build a team and put them in position. Work the dream and bring it to existence. Manifest the dream into existence. For the team going in, do you copy that? Why the all of my wrist? See you watching that? We ain't taking no loss with the profit that. We got surf on my high, no stopping that. Never take to the sky, ain't no topping that. I just burned it, this beat, get the body bag. We got blessings, you know, ain't no black in that. Bigger picture, you know, ain't no black. Ain't gonna grind like this. Yeah. Ain't gonna push like, like this. All right, man. Round of applause one more time, man. <laughs> Salute to every visionary wanting to be above average and mediocre, man. Kyra Montero, I'm out. Blessings.